welcome back everybody now we're going to install the inlay and I'm going to do this a little different than I've done in the past in the past I've used epoxy this time I'm going to try something a little different we're going to use auto filler with some dye and uh, this sets up a lot faster and there's less likelihood of it bleeding which is a good thing because that's probably one of the biggest problems that we have with the epoxy is it will bleed down the it'll bleed down the pores of the wood the grain so consequently what ends up happening is is that we have little streaks that are going with the grain. Even though I've sealed it, I've had in the past that it also makes it pass whatever you're using to seal it. Uh, unless you seal it with epoxy. Well, that's now another 24 hours you gotta wait for that epoxy to dry. So this will move it along a little bit faster and hopefully it works pretty good. Um, but the only thing that I ran into with this method is a few air bubbles and if you're really cautious about things you can kind of avoid that too. So the first thing I really want to do is I want to kind of mask the area off that I'm going to be putting this down so I'm not putting stuff all over the board. There's no reason to have this stuff all over the place so this is a good way to hopefully eliminate that. And all I do is just to the best of my ability I just kind of mask it off. And then what that's basically for is so like I said we're not going to get this epoxy stuff all or this uh, filler all over the place. Kind of gives me a boundary that I can keep within. Keeps the rest of it kind of clean. And I just go out a couple tape foots. It's really all that's basically necessary. That way, we're protected. Then go around the seams and make sure that you got them all nice and tight. So now we're ready. We'll go ahead and mix our filler. I just got from my big box store. Same automotive body filler. It's a polyester compound. It will set up pretty quickly. Okay, we've mixed our, we're mixing our polyester filler. And again, make sure that you get this well mixed up and you're on the clock now so Let's go ahead and fill in while we're guy here for sure and what you want to do is kind of press it in the reason being is so that you can Kind of push the air bubbles out. And make sure that you fill in everything. If you don't, you'll have to come back and Put another coat on. Once 
already setting up, so. so I can push the bubbles out. Welcome back folks. Uh, we're on the finishing part of this and what we're going to do in this particular segment is we're going to uh, darken in the start wording with black and then we're going to sand everything down and put our final coats on it. So I guess we'll get started now. What I'm using for filling in or finishing these is I'm just going to spray some black in it with my airbrush and then we'll wait for that to dry. I always put several light coats on. The reason being is it's less likely to bleed and since we are so close to these holes I don't want to get any black in the holes so what I'm going to do is mask it off so I don't get an overspray in the holes. For the very fact it would be very difficult to get that overspray out of the holes. So we'll mask each one of these off and then we'll be ready to spray. Okay I've got all of my starts lettering masked off. Now I'll just start spraying with my airbrush the areas with black. Um, very, very light coats. We don't have to put a lot. To let. What we're doing right now is just creating a seal coat so it doesn't migrate in the grain. that coat dry and put on another coat. Okay we've let that coat dry now we're going to put on another coat and again we want to do this lightly. Welcome back everybody. We're now ready to do the final sanding on our board here. Basically what we're going to do is just take a little bit off to get this black paint off of these areas here and then we will uh, cut our tabs out and edge sand the edges and put another coat on it and we're done. So uh, here we go. Oh, 
Okay, we're ready now to cut out our playing game board here. And we've already got this groove in here. I'm going to take a flush cutting bit and my router and go ahead and just cut this all out. So here we go. Now a little bit of sanding and we'll be done. Then we can put our final finish on. So that's the completion of our marble game project. You can find other projects and instructions at nextwaveautomation.com. I would like to thank our sponsors, Next Wave Automation, Kingcraft Company, Silverback Woodworking, and Crystal Act for their support of this video. Thank you and see you next time.